Now let's talk about your team of the week. Yeah, a couple names this week that have never made an appearance on Ooh. team of the week. So let's start, Alex, at the catcher position with one that certainly has been on team oh, of yes. the week because he's oh, one of yes. the best catchers in baseball. Will Smith of the Los Angeles Dodgers, 421 on the week with two homers and an mm -hmm. OPS north of 1,300. That'll get you on here yep. any week. Will Smith is my catcher for this week's team of the week. All right, moving to first base, Anthony Rizzo. What, what also, a week. Also a hot week. What a week for Anthony Rizzo. 444 with three homers and an OPS again north of 1,300. Really needed him and his production with Aaron Judge out of the lineup. And then Aaron Judge comes back, and they still need him and his production. Mm -hmm. And he's been, man, he has been vital for this Yankees lineup that it, at many times throughout this season has been rather sluggish, but it, it ain't because of him. Anthony Rizzo is my first baseman team of the week. Who you got at second base? Second baseman, Christopher Morell. New mm. call-up. Just called up, and he's hitting 412. With two homers and five RBIs, a 1,200 OPS, he hit another homer on Sunday. As many of you know, the team of the week goes from Sunday to Saturday. So his homer on Sunday doesn't even count for this week. It'll be towards next week. But he hit another one on Sunday. Since he's come up, we saw him come up last year and be really, really good and really announce his presence. This year, he's come up and been great. First week up, team of the week. Pretty good start. So he's one of the, one of the newbies. One of the newbies to the list. Yes. So there's a couple names on here. I, 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 he might have been on it at some point last Was he? Year. This okay. year he's never been on it, but okay. there are also some names on it this, but that have never been Ooh, on Ooh, okay. And we're about to get to one. At third base, Nolan Arenado. Oh, not him. We're about to get to one after him. Yeah. Nolan Arenado has been <laughs> on here like, quite sure a few that? times. 318 average, two homers, five RBI. It has been a tough, tough stretch for Nolan Arenado to start the season, and I don't think anybody has any doubts that he's going to snap out of it. And this week seems to be that start of him snapping out of it. Another good week. And uh, last year he was in that MVP conversation. So uh, I, 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 this is the player he is. So it's, yeah. I, it's good to see him back on this list. And he's my third baseman this week. Okay, this is who I think you were excited yeah. to get to. At shortstop, Casey Schmidt. I've been excited to get to him the whole time. Like, and then giddy. I was like, okay, he was the third <laughs> baseman. And then we got to Nolan. I was like, wait, no sec. He was the shortstop. Casey Schmidt has been one of the best stories in baseball this season from his call up to the big leagues. He was sitting in a movie theater watching guardians of the galaxy when his call up happened. So he missed the call. He comes up, he hits a Homer in his first game in the big leagues, his family going nuts in the stands, but it wasn't just that moment. It's been the entire week, five fifty on the week. With two homers, five RBI, and an OPS over 1,500. Great story. He's my shortstop on Team of the Week. All right, moving to the outfield. Now, remember, these are just the top three outfielders, yes. not specific to left field, right field, center field. Okay, so let's get started with your first one, Dominic Fletcher. Yes, this is also a newbie to the list. Dominic Fletcher has brother of David Fletcher, by the way. Comes up, bats 500, two home runs, 11 RBIs on the week, and OPS nor almost of 1,500. This guy has been dominant, and the, the stretch that he's on right now, it's continue, it obviously continued all week long, but he is more than deserving of being on this list and one of the best players in baseball over the last week. So shout out Dominique Fletcher, uh, first timer on this list as well. Love it. Next, Luis Robert Jr. Lou Bob. Man, since that play, yeah. running down the line, where he got a lot of flack for not running it out, deservedly so, um, he's really turned around his season since then. Good. The week after that, he was great. This prior week, he was great. 375, three homers, eight RBI, an OPS of 1,300 on the week, three straight games with a homer. He's hit some moon shots everything he hits right now is hard so uh credit where credit is due he got called out and a lot of players can either go one way or another you know you kind of backpedal and place blame elsewhere or you can look in the mirror and say i need to be better 
And Luis Robert looked in the mirror and decided, I'm going to be the player that everybody believes I can be. And he's been that. And you know who else decided to do that this last week? Yeah. Your third outfielder, Juan Soto. Juan Soto is back. We talked about it in Overreaction Monday. He is back. 478 on the week with two homers, 11 knocks on the week, and OPS over 1,500. Everything I see with Soto leads me to believe he's back. Approach at the plate looks different. He's swinging more, which you want to see out of a slugger like Juan Soto. Uh, Mechanics-wise, he looks really good. The guy right now, every ball he touches is, is launched. And when Juan Soto is going well, he is. And he was in this discussion mm -hmm. before the trade and every He is arguably the best hitter in baseball. And right now we can't say that because of his last year. But he's getting back to that form. And this past week is certainly an example of that. He's my last, my third of, th not last, but yeah. third of three yes. outfielders. All right, let's move to your designated hitter. Salvador Perez. Salvi, uh, yeah. friend of the pod, by the way. 421 on the week, two homers, an OPS over 1,200. I just, I just, I love this guy. I, I liked watching Salvi even before he came on the show and then hearing him come on the show. And when he, he was so nice and such a great conversation. And then I saw him at the World Baseball Classic and went up and talked to him. And he came out of his way to come over and thank me for having Aww. him on Flippin' Bats. And just ever since, you know, I was a big fan and I will forever be a big fan now. So to see him raking right now makes my heart happy. He is my DH on Team of the Week. All right, moving to your starting pitcher, Bryce Miller. Bryce Miller. The start to his career is tough to get much better. 2-0 um, and o on the week, mm -hmm. zero earned runs, 13 innings pitched, only five hits and only one walk. Incredible. Bryce Miller has been untouchable this season. He's the Mariners' number two prospect coming up. And through three starts, his first start, which doesn't count for this team of the week, his first start, dominant. His last two starts, unhittable. Bryce Miller is the starting pitcher on team of the week. And everything this Mariners rotation needed and more with what's happened to Robbie Ray this season for him to step up and be what he has been. He there's an argument that he's been uh since he's since he's been called up, he's been the best pitcher in the game. So, uh he's my starting pitcher. And moving to your closing pitcher, Felix Batista. Yeah, one of the the two-headed monster at the back end of that Baltimore Orioles rotate or back into the bullpen. 3 saves, 0 earned runs given up, 8 strikeouts in just 4 and a third inning. Perfect. Perfection. 4 and a third punching out 8 guys. That is pretty solid. A lot of the talk this year with the O's bullpen has been about Yanir Cano because it obviously should be. But Felix Bautista and him at the back end of the bullpen are making the most underrated back end of the bullpen in the game of baseball. Another good week for Felix Bautista. And that rounds out my team of the week. But that means it's time for your player of the week and just from your excitement i feel like i have a pretty good idea of who you're gonna choose I, here i'm so this you're is so such giddy. a good story you're so giddy it's a heartwarming story casey schmidt player of the week unbelievable 550 two homers five runs scored five rbis but it's the story for me the call up the first game in the big leagues the homer in your first game in the big leagues the perfect week i mean it's hard to get much better than the week that Casey Schmidt had. This is a week that he will remember for the rest of his life. And it started by getting a phone call while sitting in a movie at a movie theater. And he missed his call up to the big leagues. Finally ends up getting the call, understanding he's going up to the big leagues. And within 24 hours, he's up there hitting a home run in the major leagues in front of his family. And then went on to hit an absolute tank later on in the week. I mean, this guy has so much pop. The great story. Casey Schmidt, kudos to you. He is my player of the week. Alex, yes. who is your player of the week? Well, my player of the week, I think this might be the first time he was not. A player of the week was not on your team of Ooh. the week. However, he is on your shirt and right <laughs> on your heart. Mookie Betts has just absolutely turned things around this last week. He is a big part of the Dodgers' success that they have had. They have now officially the best 
record in the National League. They have won five straight in a row. He has just been on fire. I, his home run on Sunday doesn't count for this week. Otherwise, it would have been four. But three home runs, including the yep. one on Sunday on Mother's Day with his mom in the stands, which helped complete the sweep of the San Diego Padres. He has just been in fuego yeah. with the Dodgers. They are 13-2 and two in the last 15 games. They've won nine in a row at home. And Mookie has just been such a big part of that success. So he is my player of the week. I will say I wanted to give you pushback here. Okay. But I will say that is very un- – the, the Dodgers have turned it around. Yeah. They've been great. Yeah. He's on my shirt. Yep. Uh, his power has come back. Yes. And it's been – not. There've also been very big homers, you know, yeah. like a lot of them were meaningful, not in ten nothing ball games. Yeah, like comeback, meaningful homers. I, the reason I was going to because of the average, back is it's not it's not as high on the week, but his moments of yeah. where he stepped up is a big reason that the Dodgers are where they are. Yeah, yeah, you're a homer. I get it. Thank you. <laughs> I am. Um, so Casey Schmidt, my player of the week, and Mookie Betts is yours. I love that you're wearing a shirt today too. I just was, <laughs> I was like, was so you fitting. walked in. I was like, huh. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Here. Yeah. So that does it for player of the week.